So guys, you've been watching a lot of my videos, or if you haven't watched some of my videos, in the summertime, I like to throw a lot of small grub tails, and it's effective on catching almost every single species of fish. But in the fall, I like to pump it up. This is a Power Team Lure. It's uh, their grub tail, which is 4.5. All the brands I like is the Zoom, they're, they're Fat Albert, but you know, there's plenty of brands out there and to be honest, the grub tail is relatively cheap. And I like to use two colors in fall. One is the white because it imitates shad. And then the other one is either green pumpkin or watermelon, watermelon combo with some sort of a red flakes, black flakes, because this is more natural. The fall, the water becomes a lot more clear. So sometimes you need to throw that natural color presentation. It could either imitate bluegills or even just bass and they could be territorial. And look at that, we are fishing white grub tail. That's a white grub tail on a chatter bait. And yeah, man, why don't I show you guys two things before I get right on there. So yeah, you could use this for any sort of uh, type of hooks. You can have a plain jig head right here, right? I have a plain jig head. And I have a swim jig right here. And I like to throw a swim jig because fall, although middle fall, there's still a lot of like weeds and gunk and you kind of want it weedless. And this is a swim jig. As you can see, it's very thin weed guard. This is from Gambler. And I'm gonna trim it just a little bit to skirt so that the tail will, ha it will focus on the tail as the attractant. So let me put this on and let's go catch some fish. All right guys, so here is the finished product or rigged up um, tail. So let's go start casting and cover some water. Fish on. Big grub tails, fall fishing. Let's see what we get. It's a bass. Look at that. Dang. All right. All right, guys. So I'm fishing with buddy Jake today, and you guys saw him while I was doing my introduction. And he have a grub tail on too, on a chatterbait. Look at right that. Here. Take a look at that. So yeah, chatterbait is definitely a very good fall lure. It has a lot of commotion. He has a white chartreuse, and he paired up with a white grub tail, and he caught a nice small little bass. And we're gonna be out there catching some more. So let's get on there. All right guys, let's talk about tackle for today. So if you guys were to throw a plain jig head and a grub tail, that's technically very light. So what I like to do in that situation is something like a medium uh, rod, like a seven foot. And I like to throw maybe somewhere like a 12 pound test line. And uh, that's, that's pretty good. And a jig head for let's say a three inch to four inch grub tail, it could be anything from uh, a quarter ounce Three. If it's a plain jig, you know that, that should be fine. But if you guys are throwing uh, a, a um, swim jig like I am right here, where I had the skirt and it could be a little heavier and stuff like that, this is a 3 8 jig head, you know, with the weed guard and everything. So you kind of want it a little heavier because it's gonna slow down. And because this is a, a totally bulkier lure, and you gotta be fishing potentially structure, you want a medium heavy rod. I have 30 pound braid, and then I have a 20 pound leader. Nice. Oh, it's a good one. Nice, nice. Oh, flip them. Oh, look at that mark. That looks crazy, man. Oh, he's got a neat little tat. Yeah, look at that, guys. Look at that. Dark. Two little spots on the tail. He's trying to be a peacock bass, man. Yeah, he's trying to get... He's, he's just getting his tats. <laughs> he's trying to be cool. Yep. All right, peace out. Here we go. Looks like there's a school bass over there. I heard something, cast it out there. And here we go. Grub tail, swim jig combo. All right. Here you go, bud. Let's get some more. It could be anywhere here. Here's one. Oh, this is a pretty good one. All right. Not bad, not bad, but 
It's not a giant. Put this bad boy in. All right. Whoa, he got a little mark on his lip too. Look at that. Here, let me un unplug this guy. There we go. Check him out. He got a mark on his lip, right? Uh, top and bottom. Yeah, look. Look at him. Yeah, top and bottom. Look at that, man. Exactly. <laughs> Halloween special. Yeah, the Halloween glass. Yeah, the top water's great because there's so much gunk in here. Whoa, nice. A light grub on it. Yeah. Buzz bait with a grub tail as a trailer. That's a nice one. Yeah. You get it perfect. Cool beans, man. Where'd it go? I lost my lure. Where'd it land? I have no idea. That's not in the water, it's somewhere in the grass. Yeah, I do. It goes somewhere in the grass. Yeah, let's see what happened. Let's take a look at my... I think you hit my tip. I think my line sliced your line, if that's possible. It's, um, it could be possible. It's a quick slice. So I lost my lure. Eh. Meh. Huh? Yep. Yeah. But guys... White? <laughs> Let me run up a land Yeah. You sure? All right. It didn't splash. So it's somewhere here. And you went like this. So yeah. I'm guessing it's it could be. Like yeah, it could, it could be somewhere right here. Found it. Look at that. There it is. All right. Right next to where we parked. Yeah. Awesome. Look at that. I still have my episode, guys. <laughs> All right. But yeah, it looks like my line got cut on uh, caught on his line when we were casting, and it's cut mine off. That's not cool, man. That's a 20 pound seagar. Fish is gonna be on the move this time of year. There's definitely stuff out there. Yeah. Fish on. All righty, all righty. Oops. Gotta do a Instagram post now. Peace out, little bass. Guys, the grub tail is a super effective and budget friendly lure. I love to use these big grub tail style lures during the fall, but it's actually super effective during the pre spawn and the shad run as well. I remember when Mike, one rod, one reel, used to live in Philadelphia because he went to school to Drexel. And when he goes to Newton during the spring and during the shad run, he would throw a white jig head with a white grub tail and he was slaying a lot of fish back in those days. Personally, I like to throw up on a swim jig as well. As you guys can see here, this is the same lure that I was using during the outing. And there's just so many other ways you could use it if you guys don't like using a swim jig. You guys can just throw a Texas rig with a cone weight or Texas rig with no weight at all and you guys can run it high in the water column. Heck, you can even buzz it through the water. Speaking about buzzing, my buddy Jake, he used a buzz bait and he put it as a trailer and it was super duper effective. How do you guys like to fish the big grub tails? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If so, please give me a like. If this is your first time watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe because there's going to be a ton of grubbing out in the future. <laughs> Probably now. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. Wow, I got another one. I got a bluegill. Did you check your time? I am on the downswing of the second best time. Looks like my uh, my best time is the same time as yours, pretty much. You should cover water. Wow, every cast, bro. Every cast. Whoa, that thing flew right in my face. <laughs>